Every YouTuber wants to learn how to make good content. And the easiest way to do that is by studying other successful creators and seeing how they do it. I had the opportunity to sit down with the legendary Christopher Mass from Legion of Weirdo and get some serious advice and a few great stories from a guy who's been a YouTube creator since the very beginning of YouTube. Be sure to stay tuned to the very end because Christopher is going to give some tips and advice that you can start using today to improve your videos and get your channel to grow faster. So without further ado, may I introduce the amazing, the incredible, the... Christopher, what's the word I'm looking for? Palatable. The palatable Christopher Mast. You're watching Legion of Weirdos, where you get your party conversation education. I'm explainer, entertainer Christopher, and I mispronounce things as a side gig. So Christopher, how long have you been a YouTube creator? I've been a YouTube creator uh, twice. I actually started with the OG group back in 2006. When I first started making videos, it was just basically upload whatever I felt like. I literally had a video where I just ate a dog biscuit for the whole video. There was another video where I had like some cheesy music and I shaved a nipple. I'd worked with a puppet for a while, but it didn't matter back then because everybody was doing that in 2007, 2008. It wasn't like you had these organized networks. There are a few of the original YouTubers that are still around but the only one that's just constantly putting stuff out there and showing that they're in it for the long haul is Philip DeFranco. I actually used to like hang out with that guy and knew him personally back in the way old days. I was 40 and he was 20. In fact, there was a little joke for a little while. I'd say, you know, he's young enough to be my son and he'd say in the comments, hey dad, you know. Part of Christopher's success is his ability to engage the people he's talking to. I didn't even know that he was putting poking fun at me and my other channel, Extreme Food Reviews, until I saw this in the edit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there was some point at one of the, at the Canada meetup where I, I kind of, I was kind of a and uh, upset a few people, including him. But I think I think we're good now. But he was big from the start. When I first met him, he had 40,000 subscribers. And that's when 40,000 subscribers was huge. How big were you at that time? At that time, I had about mm, 1,800, but that's all you needed back then for people to know who you are. That was like, oh my God, you know, Jim Jones in Jonestown only had like that many followers. <laughs> How long do you feel it took you before you got to the point where you felt like, this is me, this is my thing, I have this now? I don't think I'm there yet. <laughs> it's, I, it's constantly evolving. I, I look back at myself, from just a year ago, it's just I'm cringing the whole time. And I'm positive that in a year, when I look back at the stuff I'm making right now, it will be equally cringy for me. So it's, it's constantly developing. How important is the pace of your videos to you, but also to your viewers? I like to keep the pace fairly rapid fire because as uh, Brian G. Johnson has mentioned, this is ADHD TV. I've been working harder to get right into the video even faster. I've gotten rid of all my little fancy intro graphics and stuff like that. And then I try to keep my sentences moving too without too many pauses in between. You see the joke and you're still kind of laughing at the first one before the next one comes up or the absurd thing like a reaction from an animal or something weird like that will like come to me as I'm editing it's like oh I'm gonna make a cow act startled it's just a feeling that that's where the the art for me is in the editing that's where I tell the stories and what tricks do you use during filming to make the editing process faster this time I'm a little more organized in that I actually have a set backdrop I have professional lights my camera settings are always on point and I actually think out my content and script it at the beginning of the take I do do a clap so they can line up the video with the audio I'm recording audio on the camera but I use the audio off of this so I'll line the audio track for this up with the audio track from the camera and then delete the camera's audio. Now, how do you film all of your footage for editing? Do you film it all at once or do you film it in smaller portions and then put it all together? I prefer to do one take and have just one file, although my camera is such that if you go over 15 minutes, it breaks it into two files, but they fit end to end like it's one file. What editing tricks do you use to keep the pace of your video up? I recently talked about L cuts and J cuts, but I've seen your stuff and it moves really fast. How do you accomplish that? How do you get 
with that look. First of all, when I cut up my one take into several little clips, I make sure that I start exactly where the audio starts and then wait until the audio ends and clip it right at the end of the audio. So each piece has audio from beginning to end. There's no pause at the beginning. And then when I assemble them in the assembly edit, as a word tails off, uh, you can start to say off, and I don't have to finish the F for you to understand I'm saying off. I can say off, and then right at that point, I will lay the other clip on so that the audio starts right there and it flows so much better. Take your Aston Martin video for an example. The pace of that was so fast, the humor was fantastic. That was sort of, to me, the prime example of what a Legion of Weirdos video feels like. Yeah, first of all, the whole video spawned on the idea that a lot of YouTube commenters, you know, the grammar Nazis and the fact hards, well, actually, blah, blah, blah. I usually kind of ignore that, but I got so many comments on this particular video that just popped up and got popular after a year where I mispronounced Austin Martin, which is Aston Martin. I didn't say Austin Martin, but they all seem to think I said that. Funny enough, I mispronounced Porsche in that video and a lot of people missed that. I made a video on that later. So with the Aston Martin thing, what I did was make a video to kind of point out the absurdity of telling someone that you don't know and have never met that they're mispronouncing a word. That's why I cut them together rapid pace so you could hear Austin, 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 uh, Jaguar, Austin, 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 Austin. And how did you come up with that bit about how to pronounce Ford? Part of what I like to talk about is content isn't just how you edit, but it's the ideas you use in there to bring in bits of content comedy, to break up the story, to take viewers by surprise, and really hit them with things that really engage them. How did you come up with that? With the Ford thing, it's funny, I actually sort of came up with it spur of the moment. Because a lot of people that complained about the Aston Martin video were Brits, I imitated a few Brits I know. And Ford? Am I pronouncing that right? Ford. 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 You know. <laughs> What's the biggest piece of advice that you would give to a new YouTube creator, someone who's just started out and has just started figuring out how to put video together and upload onto YouTube? Jump right to what you're talking about. Don't worry about making flashy little intros. Worry about your presentation and how you're talking. Get to the point. I see so many people, the first 15 seconds of the video, they say, in this video, I'm going to talk about this lamp cord and why this lamp cord is important right after this. And then I'm watching this 30 second intro and then they come back from their 30 second intro and they say, hi, I'm so-and-so, although you already know that because I've clicked on my video and today we're going to talk about this lamp cord and why it's important well, you already freaking told me that now i'm a minute and a half in the video and i don't have any content don't do that if you look at a lot of the bigger youtubers they don't do intros they get right to the content because that's what people are tuning in for Christopher, tell everybody where we can find you on YouTube. I know you've got more than one channel, and I know you're on more than one platform. Let the people know where we can find you. We have the Legion of Weirdos channel, which is the main channel. We also have one that we're rebooting that was dormant for a long time called Stuff We Use. So it's not a guy at a desk unboxing something and telling you every spec and showing you every little piece of plastic that's in the box. We actually use it and show you how it works for our family. I also have a Hot Wheels channel that I don't really mention a lot in the other videos, but if you're a Hot Wheels collector, I'm there. It's called Mini Models. Christopher Mass, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, Christopher. It's been a pleasure having you. I appreciate your time. End of collab. <laughs> Keep your eye out for Christopher Mass and Legion of Weirdos. If you have any questions for either myself or Christopher, join us in the comments section below. And as always, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I promise you, We'll continue this conversation. Peace.